James Cameron made 12 dives to see the wreckage of the real Titanic. The film company wanted Matthew McConaughey to play the role of Jack, but James Cameron insisted on Leonardo DiCaprio playing the role. In 2013, Matthew McConaughey and Leonardo DiCaprio starred together in the movie The Wolf of Wall Street. Apart from Kate Winslet, Nicole Kidman, Madonna, Jodie Foster, Cameron Diaz, and Sharon Stone were among the other names considered for the role of Rose. The role of Captain Smith was initially offered to Robert De Niro, but due to health issues, Robert De Niro had to turn down the role. James Cameron personally spoke to at least 150 figures who would play passengers on the Titanic, giving each of them names and life stories. James Cameron didn't want there to be a vocal song in the film. However, composer James Horner recorded Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On without informing the director. James Cameron liked the song and decided to use it at the end of the film. After finishing the screenplay, James Cameron was quite surprised to come across a gravestone bearing the name of someone who had actually lost their life on the Titanic, named Jay Dawson. This was surprising because the character of Jack Dawson in the script was entirely fictional. The gravestone belonged to someone named Joseph, and it was not related to the fictional character Septown mentioned in the screenplay. The charcoal sketches in Jack's sketchbook belong entirely to director James Cameron. During the filming of Philip Hastanisi, James Cameron threatened to dismiss anyone leaving the pool for a bathroom break, including Kate Winslet. As a result, many actors, including Winslet, relieved themselves in the pool. The elderly couple, owners of the Storf Maces in New York, were allowed onto the lifeboat because the woman, Isidore Strauss, was pregnant. However, she refused to leave her husband, saying, We live together, we should die together. They remained on the ship, embracing in bed. The scene where Jack spreads his arms and shouts, I'm the king of the world, towards the ocean was entirely improvised. Although not in the script, Leonardo DiCaprio delivered this memorable line, making it one of the most iconic quotes in the film. Kate Winslet didn't consider it necessary to wear a diving suit during the underwater shots and as a result, she contracted pneumonia. The musicians continuing to play as the ship sank wasn't a scene created for dramatic effect in the screenplay, it actually happened. They played music until the ship sank, not to beautify the scenario, but to calm the passengers until the very end. The scene set in 1912 in the film, which has a total length of 3 hours and 14 minutes, have been adjusted to last for 2 hours and 40 minutes. This duration mirrors the actual sinking time of the Titanic after it struck the iceberg. Additionally, since the real collision with the iceberg lasted for 37 seconds, this scene in the film is also depicted to last for one second. Gloria Stewart, who portrayed the elderly Rose, was 86 years old at the time of filming, and makeup was applied to make her appear to be 100 years old. Gloria Stewart passed away in 2010 at the age of 100. On the last day of shooting, a few people wanting to play a prank mixed drugs into the food, causing more than 50 people to be hospitalized due to hallucinations. The scene of flooding the grand ballroom was shot in one take because it was anticipated that it would cause irreversible damage to the STV furniture. The film was shown in cinemas so extensively that over time the film reels suffered damage. As a result, the distributing company, Paramorn, had to send replacements for the damaged copies. Titanic is the first film where two actors playing the same character were nominated for Oscars. Kate Winslet was nominated for Best Actress for her role, while Gloria Stewart was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal of the elderly version of the character.